Well, morning all. Good the morning. bells. The bells. Well, I have a story to tell about those bells. Well, they didn't sound in the night. No, they didn't sound in the night, which I was relieved about. However, at seven o'clock this morning, which, you know, it's not that early. 7 a.m. no, it's bright and early, bad. sun's up. They rang for about 20 minutes, non-stop. I think they were testing every bell that they possibly had in the church. So, um, yeah, it was a very effective alarm call. And uh, as we're only about 50 metres from the bells, and, um, well, needless to say, it's about 8 o'clock and we're up and ready to go. If I see that person... <laughs> it might have been an Who was ringing. Well, it might have been. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, Step away from the knives. We survived the bells. Yes. We anyway, survived the bells. What are we doing today? We are off to... We're heading down Tours direction. Uh, because we do fancy seeing a chateau or two. So... Um, the, there's a couple of sites on the Loire, a little bit west of Tours. We're going to go down, have a look at them, see what they look like. And if, they're, uh, if they fit the bill, we're going to stop off for a couple of nights, perhaps jump on Peggy and have a look around the area. Yes, and if yeah. you're new to the channel, Peggy is our scooter. Oh yes, that's very true, yes. yes. You need to know who Peggy is. Because <laughs> <laughs> otherwise it would just sound wrong. <laughs> yes. <laughs> right, so we'll see you on the road. Yeah. Enjoy the drive down and um, we'll show you a bit more of the campsite when we find one. Yeah, see you guys. See ya. Number 45. Yes, a Renault, a Renault Twizy. I've never heard of one of those. No. Interesting. I'm not sure it would get an island bed in the back though, would it? No, or a sink. It's somebody's pride and joy. Oh, absolutely. Well, it's sort of cross between a motorbike and a car, I guess, isn't it? Yeah, with a covered... Yeah. Covered seat. Remember the Sinclair C5s? It's a bit like one of those, isn't it? Yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> fence on either side of the road. Of course it's strange to think that they race here, isn't it? It's an ordinary road while well, they're not racing. To be fair, in the mobile battle we'd probably break the lap record, I expect. Oh, I expect so, yes. Yeah. A bit like the Isle of Man TT, isn't it? The race circuit through all the uh, yes. villages and towns, isn't it? It is a little bit, but this is on a bigger and faster scale, isn't it? Because it's cars. So no, it's, well, yeah. maybe not so fast, yeah. but in terms of the pit, the, uh, there we go, there's a little uh, pit stop chicane, in there, yeah, chicane. We cut, we cut the chicane. Yeah, we should cut the chicane, here we go. Back out on it again. No, it's just the the, uh, the circuit's wider, isn't it? Yeah, it's, yeah definitely wider. Has yeah. to be, doesn't it, because it's cars. Uh, Isle of Man are now doing over 200 mile an hour, it's uh, just incredible. Yeah, I wonder what the top speeds of the cars that race here are. Depends on the class of car, obviously, and yeah. race. Imagine they get some speed up here, so it's so straight, this bit. 
what are we doing? Are we doing? <laughs> oh, we're doing uh, 180, I think. 180 what? Miles an hour, of course. Oh, yeah, That's definitely. Oh, here we go. Right under a bridge. Oh, yeah, it's a bit of wispy stuff. Outrageous, how dare it. That is one warm day today, though. Gone from 16 degrees in Tembe. 48 hours later, we're up at 30. Nikki's uh, definitely catching up with a good old lounge about outside the van. He certainly did give us a big pitch. It's about 20 metres long, he reckoned. Which, to be fair, it probably is that. So it wasn't too difficult to drop it on and leave. Peggy's trailer on the back, Peggy too, of course. So, first things first. First things first, we've got to check the, um, check the level. Just arrived in the Loire Valley, absolutely fantastic. And Let's have a quick look. Tools, levelling, motorhome. So I always uh, try it on the hob just to see how we are. And by Christ, yep, yeah, that is absolutely. So I dropped the um, I dropped the near side suspension down on the VB semi air, lifted the right hand side up because we were slightly askew to start with, and so without any ramps, that's enabled me to get the uh, get the van level. So um, again, another tick in the box for VB semi -air. Right, let's go and do some exploring, show you the site and uh, get hooked up, a bit of water on board. And isn't it weird how as soon as you put some extra storage in, you fill it with stuff. Yeah, the obligatory gaffer tape solves anything. Stack of rubber bands. What on earth did I? Oh, there we go. I couldn't find that for ages, Nikki. Yes, found my motorcycle helmet bag, which I'd put in a safe place, obviously. Stacks of cable ties in there, more than you can shake a stick at. And uh, yeah, we're generally, well, that's Peggy's cover there, but uh, yeah, we're generally, you couldn't swing a very small gerbil in here, let alone a cat. In fact, it would have to be a small gerbil from small gerbil land to swing it in there at all. But that's the thing, isn't it? You've got a space, you've got to fill it. The trailer has been uh, faultless again. That's been uh, really good. Must have done 4,000 miles with it now. I guess the only thing that you, of course, you can see from the height of it down the bottom there, the only thing you've got to be slightly careful of is when you go up ramps or stuff like that so that the overhang uh, the overhang becomes super low if you've got the tow bar there but but uh, obviously as I mentioned uh, in a previous episode we just jack the VB up as high as it will go not much but gives you about another 70 mil which when you amplify it towards the back is a is a pretty good lift and um, seems to have done the trick where we've used it once or twice 
So yeah, been a great little trailer actually. Not too bad to reverse at all, particularly with the camera um, up the top there. Then uh, if you're watching that as soon as you see obviously either corner start to move on the camera then because it's so tiny it, uh, it only needs the tiniest inputs from the steering wheel and you get a, a much bigger reaction from the trailer. So, it, so that's what makes it relatively easy to, uh, to move around when you're going backwards. And as for loading and you know unloading, the Peggy's only about 170 kilos, so it uh, it's really easy to get up the ramp that obviously comes out the side there. So yeah, if you're thinking of scooting, well, or indeed I've seen other people actually, they do a version of this trailer, or they did, which has a completely um, a completely covered checker plate bed. Um, with this stuff, checker plate stuff. So um, with a flat bed, it's also got obviously the option for the. Uh, for the scooter run for the bit you know fitted at the front there but if you've got all of that checker plate then actually it could be anything you know you could have a scooter on there but you could similarly have a scooter or even a bike or two on there or two bikes or anything really so if you were struggling a bit to uh, to get perhaps some of the heavier electric bikes hanging on the back of your motorhome or a tow bar mounted bicycle carrier then you know this is an option to consider um, as it's so short and didn't seem to cost us that much extra on the uh, on the ferry as we're just coming up nine meters so on uh, DFDS the website which was our New Haven Dieppe crossing it asked about trailer size and if it was two meters or less and less uh, side to side and less than two meters from tow bar out the back then it classes as a uh, as a super small trailer so um, and this is exactly two meters wide. It's only 1.6, 1.65, I think, out from the van. So that uh, that meant that uh, we probably paid a little bit more. But overall, as you saw, it was only about th just over 300, I think, 320 odd um, for the return trip. So we've got some really nice sized pictures as well. Plenty of room, whatever size your rig is sort of about three different sizes I think they mentioned on their website but certainly cater for uh, anything you may have and of course because we're now just outside the French holidays then uh, not a problem getting in at just about any of the sites down here the sound of bull going on just over the hedge there and just wandering back towards the uh, that's the little reception house that we came to yesterday. Oh, Got to have one of the nicest guys in the world running it. Not much English, so we managed to, to get by. Anyway, is that good? I'm just wandering up there to book another, book a third night, because the weather's still showing us fabulous again tomorrow, so gonna make use of it. A little recycling area there. And then once I've booked my night, I'll show you around the rest of the site. A little games room in there. Table tennis and table football and bits and pieces like that. That's the main entrance in. And there's Luny, L-U-Y-N-E-S. That's the name of the little settlement we're next to. And then next to us there, there's like a permanent sort of circus site. Don't know whether it's running or not. I'm not investigating, but bit random but it's there yeah so we're down on the end there number 51 as you can see it's quite a big site there I'll pop down and show you the pool and stuff like that in a minute so that's really nicely done how are you doing and this it's a fabulous dog. As I was booking in yesterday, he came down and lay on my feet. A fabulous dog. Right, so that's my uh, third night booked. A bit more exploring to do. We might try and go into Tours itself, which is only about six miles to the east of us. See an idea of some of the bits and bobs they've got? So I'll take you over towards the uh, Swimming pool. Sort of best of both worlds, really, because he's um, he's um, covered it, but uh, 
as you can see, can, it's like with a giant marquee, but can just put the sides up. And it's got some, uh, some uh, sort of random little walls and ornamental type finish around the edges, which is quite, sweet, quite well done. And it's got, a, again, a random shape as well. But that was fantastic yesterday evening and probably this evening as well. Lots of outdoor eating spaces. Lovely play area as well over there. Looks like they have um, had a big um, bouncy castle out and stuff during the holidays for some of the smaller visitors. Yeah, very nicely done the pool. And we were the only two in it yesterday. It looks like there's only two people in there this evening. We're about, um, I suppose about 15 minutes walk. If you just went down the lane out of, the, uh, out of here, you can get down. There's actually a little beach on the, uh, on the edge of the Loire within walking distance. This is one of the uh, little sanitary blocks. There's about two or three around the site. Showers are a sort of proximity bracelet thing that he gives you at reception. Um, that basically, um, once the uh, reader reads your, reads your proximity bracelet, it gives you about seven or eight minutes shower time, which is plenty. And these, like many of those campsites that you'll have seen us stay at, have a mixture of the chalets, the um, nice little spaces, the chalets, they have a sort of, almost like a canvas version which is a bit like a cross between a tent and a chalet. Um, space for tents, space for motorhomes. It's a really um, great setup they've got. So if you fancied, of course, coming down here, flying into the nearest airport, coming and spending some time in the Loire Valley. As you've seen, there's, um, there are huge opportunities to hire bicycles, electric bikes or standard bikes. And there's also guided tours that you can go on for several days, cycling the uh, Loire Valley. Um, and of course, being in the valley, it's not, I guess, too, too hilly. There's one of those um, sort of canvassy style finish ones. Yeah, so that's the cross between a chalet and a tent, I guess, but very, very smart though. Pretty big tent, actually. There we go, through the gap. There's Rizzy the Moho. And the other sanitation block, which is just next to us. Outdoor washing up areas, black dropout, grey waste, everything you'd expect. And that's the other parallel aisle to start with, with motorhomes caravans. So not massive at all, very nice little indep independently run site. So third night was the same as the first two, just on 18 euros. So, you know, 15, 16 quid, I guess, which is great value. Oh, that of course includes the electric. So, um, so these days, pretty good value. Morning guys, or just leaving the site now. And uh, we thoroughly enjoyed it there. Mm, yeah. Really good facilities, I thought, didn't you? Yeah, yeah. The, um, uh, yeah, I mean, you know, not the most flash uh, toilet blocks, but extremely clean and very convenient. Um, our pitch was lovely, wasn't it? Yeah, hot showers, massive pitch, yeah, 20 odd metres, so I think that catered for us and Peggy on the back. And uh, yeah, very well, uh, hot showers, very well put together. The guy that runs it uh, is an absolute delight. He is, absolute isn't he? delight, yeah. such a lovely guy. Yeah, very staff are very friendly. Um, the swimming pool was lovely as well, wasn't it? Yes. So nice yeah. to have that as well, and it was lovely and warm and covered. Um, yeah. yeah. Oh, I would uh, definitely go back there again if we were travelling this way. It's very good. Definitely. And of course, look out for uh, our next film, which was 
uh, which will be one of a couple of little trips out. We went to the incredible Villandry, Chateau Villandry, uh, which is just off the scale of stunning, um, together with a little trip into um, a UNESCO World Heritage Site, which is uh, Tours, the city of Tours. Um, so yeah, look out for that film next week. Um, some lovely sights uh, and scenery to see in that film. Yeah, so if you wanted to see tours and of course the Chateau Villandry, then the camp site we were at was just perfect for that. Yeah. Um, we, I mean, we took um, our scooter into tours, but you can take the bus apparently, there's a good yeah. bus service. Um, so you can get to all of the uh, local attractions quite easily by bus from the site. Yeah, only five or six miles, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Very yeah. close so by. It's very convenient and uh, yeah, lovely bit of countryside and of course right next to the uh, the river, um, the Loire, which runs through here and it was uh, very pretty, very pretty countryside yeah. as well. Lovely indeed. So don't miss next week guys and thanks ever so much as always for watching. See you very soon.